We have another special guest. His name <laughs> is Denzel Siggers, ATL's own. Yes. Don't call in being funny with the last name. We don't play like that. His name is Denzel Siggers, and he is the man who decided to grow a little bit taller. A little longer. Absolutely. And long, you elongated yourself. Paul, come on, son. <laughs> oh, okay, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Come as y'all on. using, as a y'all are using these little cold terms or whatever. I'm, I'm, what part of your body did you get? Uh, go ahead, enlarged? go ahead, go ahead. Elongated. Both my upper and lower legs. Both your upper. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't medicine. know it was upper and lower. Okay. So modern medicine has allowed you to grow how many inches? Seven. Okay, so how tall were you prior to? This? I started out at five foot five, just barely, mm-hmm. and now I'm six foot. Okay, man. Jeez. So, so, what has life been like at six, at six <laughs> feet? <laughs> at Look, six feet, because I, I mean, I'm I'm dating there six feet. So, like, I'm like, all right, let's see. Well, how how's it feel to be tall now? Y'all ain't tell me it was like this. He <laughs> 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 said y'all didn't prepare y'all, me. Y'all ain't tell me. I, What's I the difference? I'm five yeah. one, so I mean, I'm real tiny. But what is the difference that you notice in being six? But versus five, five. So the biggest thing I've noticed is the way people treat me, the way people greet me. Really? And, uh, more respect, right? Yeah, like way more respect. <laughs> really? Before, when I was 5'5", five, yeah. five, I would get respect, but I had to earn it everywhere I go. I was mm-hmm. in the military eight years. I had to earn it everywhere I went. Mm-hmm. And all throughout life, I noticed people would talk to me a little bit, like, and I had to check them on the way they, they talk to They try to sun you. I have not been, like, talked to once like that since I've gone undergone my journey. Like people right. actually much nicer to me when they greet Word. me, when they meet me, Yo, like this everywhere is crazy I go. They give you, they give you the so what's up, what's yeah, up, my like, G? Man, they, don't, they don't look at you like, yo, who is this little? So another thing I notice is like, you know, you lock eyes with another man. A mm-hmm. lot of times, men to do the head nod, it's a sign of respect. Yeah, I do the head nod. Before when I was five five, like you know, depending on where I go, people would stare me in the eyes and like kind of mug me and not look away. I'm like, okay, it's a stare off. Right at six feet, man, like. If me and somebody lock eyes and it's not a head nod thing, they just look away immediately. Right. I'm like, I like it. Okay. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> the, air, the air feels a little I different know, up hey. here now. Man, it's, okay. it's a little fresh okay, up so, here. Okay, man. so let's go from the beginning it's of this. This is a, a surgery that I've never heard of, but mm-hmm. what made you, obviously because you want to be taller and whatnot, but what really pushed you to look into this particular surgery? So I last year underwent like pretty much a complete overhaul change of my life. I reevaluated my entire life and who I was. Mm -hmm. And although I had a good life, I was not happy and I couldn't figure out why. And I realized that uh, I was not the man I could have been. So this last year I put in the work. I've changed a lot of things about myself just to become the best version of myself I could possibly be. And for me personally, I felt like looks were included. So I went on a journey like mentally, physically, spiritually. I had to become the best version of myself. And I'm still currently on that journey. Mm-hmm. And I think that's okay. That's so important. I'm with that. I'm good, with yeah. that. Like, yeah. yo, I want to be better. I want to be a better human being. So I'm going to put in work to make sure that I'm uh, the best version of myself. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, Spiritually, emotionally, physically, all that stuff. So I'm sure your workout regimen, you know, became on point. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You did all the things. But how did you even think? think Me. to like yo i'm gonna it's get my leg i want to get i uh, gotta get taller height I, has been my only insecurity since i was very young mm. uh i actually was a tall child initially up until about middle school i hit mm. my growth spurt early and just stopped growing so i was five five in elementary school so you've been Word. five five since elementary i've I mean, been five five sheesh. since elementary school Dang. So I hit my, like he because dying. no, no because, because a five five elementary kid in the fifth, fifth grade? grade come on son <laughs> everybody thought i would be because my dad is six foot a little bit over six foot and All a right. lot of men in my family are like five eleven and up gotcha uh, yeah. we have some very tall men on my dad's side so everybody thought i was like when i hit my first growth spurt mm-hmm. everybody thought i was be oh, huge yeah, yeah. ball player like right. they thought i was gonna be so many things and then as time went on i just didn't continue to grow mm-hmm. and i say about seventh grade is everybody started shooting up past me Mm-hmm. Okay, so how much? So okay, sorry. Before I get into how much bread it costs, so you realize like I want to be better. Your height has been an insecurity. So what do you do? How do you get to the point where it's like, yo, I'm about to I, grow? I, I've looked up ways Pause. to get taller since I was a kid. Like mm-hmm. since I was about sixteen, I looked mm-hmm. up ways to get taller. Of course, it had pills. It had like all type of stuff. I didn't put a lot of money into trying to get taller since I was about 16. I didn't bought inversion tables, mm. all these different little things that's supposed oh, wow. to work. Oh, wow, wow, don't wow. skip over that. What's the, what's the inversion table? That it stretch it, it out? stretches out, so it decompresses oh your spine. It turns you upside down. 
and decompresses your spine. Because what most people don't know is that uh, you get shorter throughout the day because your spine compresses. Mm -hmm. So you're the tallest when you wake up. Well, I would get an inversion table and lay on it throughout the day because I could pull off about five, six most of the day mm -hmm. when I would use the inversion table. And with shoes, I could pull off, you know, a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. Did your parents know that you felt this way growing up? And, like, what did they do to kind of help or, I guess, uh, instill some? Because you said that was your, you were insecure about that. Mm -hmm. Like, so at, did your parents or family members kind of, like, affirm you and let you know, like? I never told anyone. Oh. Yeah, I never told anyone. Um, so the weird thing is a lot of people confuse having an insecurity with being an insecure person. I was never an insecure person. Mm -hmm. It was just that. I, it was just I had an insecurity, which mm -hmm. I believe most people do. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I had an insecurity. It was there forever. But I will say it only got worse as I got older because I felt like as I got older, I kind of started to feel like a child amongst men mm -hmm. because I've done all these amazing things, all these amazing accomplishment, accomplishments, but I still would get the same reaction from a lot of people initially like, people would always react to me the same. But as I, like, as they got to know me, all of a sudden I'm an amazing guy and all these other things. I, I need to know exactly what they told you at the doctor, though. Like, when they walked, when you told them, yeah, I'm down for the surgery, what exactly did they tell you the wrist were? Uh, I'm sure so, they had to break your legs, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, all six bones in my leg are broken because I did the surgery twice. Um, wait, wait, wait. And how, and in what length of time? Like, you did I it twice? I did the, I got my first surgery December 21st. I finished at the end of February. I got my next surgery the first week of March. So that's, that was the break from February to March. It was like, yeah, I wanted table, it. Like, I didn't want to take a break in between. I just wanted to go. So let's it just get over. it. Yeah. So I was a little over five, nine after the first surgery. And then I did it again to be six foot. So, oh, okay. I mean, hey, because I, I got more questions. No, I got we, more we questions. Got more we gotta go to break. <laughs> but go ahead, Austin. Ask your question. No, no, we... no. I have a question. Okay, so here's the thing. So, how much bread does it cost to have two surgeries and to go from five five to six feet? And an so insurance covering it. Insurance does not cover okay. it because it's a cosmetic surgery, and also. Mm. I tell people who want to do this surgery, save up way more than the amount of the surgery because yeah. it's six months of not working, six months you're in a rehabilitation center. But uh, it is, so they, they do it, in, I did it overseas, so it's in euros. It's about 35,000 euros, which translates to about $40,000 in American dollars. And I did it twice, so it's a little over 80,000. A salary, somebody's plus, salary. Uh, oh plus, like I said, uh, that six months of needing food and other things mm -hmm. and other requirements mm -hmm. to live. Yo. 80 bands uh, to be six feet? Hey. hey it well, is it? Oh, hey. Hey, here's a qu the question is, but is it worth it? Don't answer it right now. When we come back. When we come back, we're going to get into we it. Break. What? May I ask you a question? Go ahead. If you could add seven inches. <laughs> no, look, no, look. If you can add seven inches, nah, that's too much. It's the way don't, you don't, start. Don't, it's the way you start. It's the way you start. If you, you got to say pause, son. You cannot just ask if me. If they told you they can add seven inches, but you wouldn't be able to use your hips for the whole year. We gotta go. Uh. News and Talk, thirteen eighty WAOK. Voices in the streets, unfiltered. <laughs>